Hey Tugma Shifty and welcome back to my series Life with Gabby New Beginnings. So guys we are going to start this video off with comment of the day and comment of the day goes to Annie Laura. Um, Annie says this is perfect timing my first ever day of college was today. Nina and Everly are so cute. I think that Nina and Diego dating would be interesting and very dramatic but I think that Diego would always really want Gabby and would eventually break up with Nina to pursue Gabby. I also kind of feel that Nina like Nina would wouldn't date Diego if she knew that Gabby liked him though. I definitely like that Diego and Gabby are in game, quote unquote, great episode, smiley face. I love you so much, Annie. I hope that you had a great first day of college. My first day of college is actually Tuesday. I'm returning to school and I'm so anxious, but I hope that you had a really wonderful time. I hope that you enjoyed getting settled into your classes and I hope that it was everything that you expected. Let me know what your degree is and what you're pursuing. I would love to talk more about that, especially like with me going to school too. We could both just bond over that. So just comment below or we can start like a private conversation somewhere else. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, whichever. Would love to talk to you more about that and hear your story and about your education. But you guys left a lot of amazing comments and I am so excited to dive into this episode. I know you guys are like looking at this house and you're like, whose house are we looking at? <laughs> Don't worry. Um, this is a new set of characters that are coming into a life with Gabby. As I said, we're going to be meeting a lot of new people now. Gabby's going into college. She's getting older. Things are happening around her. And as a storyteller, I have to have new characters constantly coming in to keep me interested and also keep you guys interested and so you can actually learn to love other people besides Gabby because I know you all love Gabby. All right, but the house we are looking at, it belongs to a familiar face. <laughs> as you guys can see here, we have Marco. And I know a lot of us have been like, where's Marco? What is Marco? been up to he hasn't reached out to gabby but let me tell you guys there is a reason for that marco has been trying all oh, look congrats on landing that sweet job we're gonna pretend that that didn't happen <laughs> um because i need to tell you guys like a story in regards to this so marco um he, after he went missing and it's been a while too it's been a few months marco actually went and checked himself into a rehab facilitation where he you know started to get some help and started to feel better and you know started to manage his anger and within that facility he met someone who worked there and her name was none other than samaria jones i hope i'm saying this correctly <laughs> samaria is a single mother this is not marco's daughter he did not have a love child with somebody but she's a single mother to her daughter mari jones and you know she was working in the facility she kind of helped Marco get back on his feet and she is his new girlfriend I know you guys are like wait what what are you talking about what about Gabby so after getting his head straight you know Marco has love for Gabby of course she is the mother of his child and he will always have love for her and he has just he has he has accepted the fact that he and Gabby will never be good together they always will have that baggage and that history and and he feels like he could never actually help her forget about that. He couldn't help her forget that pain. So it would always cause problems in their relationship. So he decided to let the love that he had for Gabby or whatever it was that he had for Gabby. He doesn't even know if it was love or anything. Um, maybe it was just their friendship and the fact that she was always around when Marco didn't have a family. Um, but he has just decided to let her go. And he started a new life with this woman here. She's actually helped him get into work, guys. And he brought his dog back. You guys know that there was Duchess and there was Duke in the beginning. And Duke was Marco's dog but he couldn't have two dogs in that apartment so also we'll get into this because I can't wait <laughs> for you guys to um find out what's been going on so Eldo we all know he's been kind of sad and he's been kind of moody. He hears his mom go around the house constantly saying that she can't stand his mother. Well, she can't stand his father. He gets on her nerves and he doesn't answer his phone, da, 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 this and that. But Marco has a new phone number and he has Aldo's number in his phone. And he and Aldo have been texting, emailing, talking on the phone. But Aldo has not told his mother because he knows how much his mother is, you know, just not about Marco. But Gabby still kind of loves Marco. So it's a very touchy subject. She's very conflicted. Like she loves Marco, but she's starting to like Diego. So there's those two sides and she doesn't even know that Marco has a girlfriend, that she has a kid, that they're living together, that he has a job and everything. So it's just complicated. But Marco has actually created a bank account that he puts money in off to the side for, for Eldo. And he's actually been really trying hard to be connected with Eldo without being connected to Gabby. So they've been texting, emailing, and going back and forth 
forth and he even gets on the game sometimes and plays with Aldo but Aldo is still very sad because his parents are not together and because his mom doesn't like her you know his dad so it's kind of conflicting and he tells his mom that he doesn't hear from his dad but of course he does and even now Aldo's like dad can you please come over I'd really like to see you it's been a long time and this and that but Marco is going to be like I wish I could select like maybe another time but he does have his address he knows where they are so he's actually been thinking about going over and I feel like Sunday is actually a really good day to do this <laughs> I'm like so nervous because I have no idea what Gabby's response will be and how she will be feeling about this whole situation but you know Marco really wants to see his son it's been a while and he's got the next three days off and he just wants to go visit him so I think that we're gonna have him travel after he takes a nap and we can go visit Aldo and have Marco kind of tell Gabby what's been going on oh my gosh guys we are here we are at Gabby's house and Marco can you like change the look on your face <laughs> you're like yeah this is a pretty nice neighborhood like Gabby's doing really well for herself he's he's so proud of her and you guys Marco he's really cleaned up like I'm really proud of him he's doing really well for himself he's working out at the gym trying just to stay distracted and so he doesn't you know fall off tracks again because when Gabby left him you know he did struggle a while for you know getting himself together and the reason he never contacted her about Alma, Alma was because when he was in his facility they were not able to use their phones um so he wasn't able to officially tell her how sorry he was for the passing of her grandmother but he plans to do that today and I hope that she's just accepting of it and speaking of which Gabby's out here out back and she's grilling some food and you know what things have been looking kind of up for Gabby you know Marco does pass her mind every now and then but she's starting to let go of that idea but she still does love him so I don't know how she's going to take this information when he's like hey I just want to be friends I just think that you know you and me just shouldn't work out he's going to tell her the same thing essentially that I told you guys like he just doesn't want to be in a relationship with her because he feels like it's unrepairable because of how they were to each other and they're environment together was just always toxic so he's gonna tell her all those things and we have Duchess out here she's taking a poop I guess <laughs> but he is so excited to see his son so we're gonna come over here and knock on the door and eventually we will switch over to playing with Gabby because she's gonna have her first day of school tomorrow which by the way guys she got accepted into distinguished degrees oh my gosh I've never had a sim do that before so I was very proud of her all right so we are in the house and hopefully Nina doesn't fall head over heels for Marco either because he's completely unavailable but you know she's gonna be like Gabby has really good taste in men <laughs> and Aldo heard somebody knocking on the door he looks outside and he sees that a car just pulled off and maybe that's his dad so let's actually come in and ask him about his day and I saw Nina try to go over and talk to Marco and we're gonna hug him oh my gosh he's gonna be so excited to see his dad look at him he's like dad I can't believe you came I just texted you and you really showed up that fast and he's like well I had to come over here and see you I've missed you so much and this is actually one of um, Marco's old beanies. So the fact that he has his dad's beanie, oh, he's going to hug him again. He's like, I need to hug you one more time, son. I've missed you so much. Oh my God, they're going for a third hug. <laughs> Y'all are for real. He's like, so son, how's it been? How's school been? Are you liking this area? Like what, what's, what's going on, man? Keep me involved. I want to know everything. And I want you to come over and meet my girlfriend one day and he's like are you for real dad like I get to come over to your new house I'm so excited and you know Aldo does think it's kind of sucky that his parents aren't together but he's still excited nonetheless that he gets to see his dad but he's like hey son where's your mama and he's like she she's outside I think doing some things um so let's see oh Gabby's outside sitting so let's come over here and we're gonna apologize to her first and foremost he's gonna greet her and he's gonna be like hey Gabby I'm really sorry. Stop talking to people's kids. <laughs> oh, Gabby came in here. He's like, Gabby, first, I want to tell you that I'm really sorry for not contacting you. And I'm really sorry for the passing of your grandmother. I really wanted to reach out for you, but there's some things that we have to talk about because I've been going through a lot. And, you know, I'm sure that's not what she wants to hear because she's like, you've been going through a lot. I've been going through a lot, but he's going to be like, can we please go somewhere and talk privately about the things that have been occurring and why I haven't been around and she's like, you know what, Marco, things happen. Yeah, I've learned that. And there's things out of your control that can happen. You know, losing my grandma, that was something out of my control. 
but we can definitely sit down and talk and he's feeling tense because just being around Gabby, it's like all their bad energy comes back up and he just remembers like how bad of a person he was. I don't think he, he's really tense about her, but I think he's tense about the fact that like he was so bad to her. But let's go up here and sit and chat on the balcony. Hopefully we can go here privately <laughs> and just talk. I'm going to put them in a group so that way... Um, we can have them just kind of stay together. So let's form a group and have Gabby and Marco just stay in this group here. Now his girlfriend knows that he's here. Oh my God. She's even sitting across from him. I love this because usually they would sit right next to each other, right? Because, you know, they love each other. Where is my camera going? <laughs> but the fact that they, you know, have this, these problems going on and look at her, she's just ready to listen. And what is this right here? What is this one? Feeling insecure. If your significant other isn't around, how can you know what they're doing and who they're doing it with? Why are you feeling insecure? Maybe it's because he's with Gabby and all the, like I said, all those emotions are coming back and because he's active, he's domestic, he's good and he's neat. A lot of his lifestyles have changed. She's not aggressive or angry anymore and he just really takes care of himself. So I think that just being around Gabby is causing him to like go back into those like bad thoughts, you know? So I think that that's why he originally wanted to end things with Gab. So Marco actually moved closer to Gabby because he just wants to sit down and talk to her. And he's like, hey, so how have you been doing, Gabby? You know, I've been thinking about you and I was worried about you, but I just had all this stuff going on. And I actually even checked myself into a facility. And she's like, oh my God, Marco, what kind of facility? Like, are you okay? Of course she's worried about him, but now she's thinking the worst. She's like, did you get involved in something that you weren't supposed to be in? Like, are you doing drugs? Like, what's going on? And Marco's like, of course not. Like, that's not what I'm doing. I just needed help with my anger. So I just decided to check myself into a facility to get some help. And Gabby's just shocked. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I feel like such a bad person because I wasn't there for you, but I just have my own stuff going on. He's like, don't beat yourself up about it, Gabby. It's okay. I had stuff going on too. And guys, please ignore his face. <laughs> I don't believe that his face is a reflection of the conversation that they're having for the story purposes, but it's just because they have like bad history that he has this tense look but he's telling her about what's going on and he's like hey I'm actually you know here because I wanted to tell you some important things in my life and also apologize for the loss of Alma but Gabby um, I don't think that we should ever date again for the sole reason that you know we just aren't good together and Gabby's like so you don't ever see us getting together Marco She's like, what do you, what do you mean? Like, I thought that you and me were eventually going to work things out. Like what's going on? And now he's telling her that he's actually been in contact with Alma and that he's officially in a relationship with somebody. And Gabby's like, what do you, what do you mean you're in a relationship with somebody? Like you're literally just now talking to me for the first time in months and you're telling me that you've been in contact with our son and that you have a new girlfriend with a child and you haven't been over here to see our kid. And he's like, Gabby, I didn't come over here to see you because you told me that you didn't want to be around me. And she's like, well, I have some homework to do. So can you just, um, just go, we'll talk later. And she's, she's like, yeah, sure. That's, that's, he's like, yeah, sure. That sounds okay. Gabby's like, yeah, I'm kind of busy, Marco. So, um, I'll talk to you later. Oh, look at her. She's so upset. <laughs> oh no, guys. So this conversation actually took a turn for the worse. I really thought that this was going to be a positive interaction, but Marco was just telling Gabby, he's like, hey, like, why are you shoving me out the door? I just wanted to talk to you about this. And she's upset. She's like pointing at him, telling him that he's trash. And she's like, you haven't talked to me in months. And you know that I still care about you and I'm still in love with you. And you come over here to tell me that you don't want anything to do with me ever again, that you don't ever want to repair our relationship and that you're with somebody else and that you haven't talked to me because of that. She's like, you can just leave, get out. You can see Aldo whenever I have time to bring him to you and he's like whenever you have time he's my son too like this conversation did not go at all the way that Marco had thought but I mean can you blame like Gabby for being a little bit upset with him like she hasn't heard from him in months and I get his like his defensive side but I think that he should just give her some time and maybe she can like process this on her own eventually come around to things and the idea of him never wanting to be together again and yeah just this is all a lot for her and I'm sure it's a lot for you guys as well. So I'm going to go ahead and send him home and we're going to switch over to Gabby. So guys, this episode today is going to be quite long. So I'm really sorry if you're usually into short episodes, but we are back with Gabby now and she's actually kind of sad now that Marco's left. Yes, she had homework to do, but she just wants to get in her bed and she wants to cry it out because, you know, hearing that news was just too much for her. Actually, she just went straight to sleep. Duchess, why do you always do this? 
<laughs> I have no idea why Duchess always tries to wake up Gabby, but let's go ahead and set auto lights. I guess that she wanted to just lay down for a minute. I'm kind of upset because I wanted her to stay up for a while because I think that Nina was actually going to talk to her, but Nina is in bed too. She saw Gabby go upstairs. So I guess she wanted to go to sleep too, but Nina was actually going to talk to Gabby and tell her, hey, you know, I saw your friend over here earlier and or the other day and I was just wondering if you'd be okay with me talking to him because, you know, I kind of thought he was cute. Like, she wants to ask her, but she's also scared because she just, you know, heard Marco Marco leave the house and he kind of slammed the door shut, so she doesn't really know what happened with them. So, it is finally Gabby's first day of school. I didn't realize that her first day of school actually started on Tuesday and not Monday, so I had to wait around a little bit. But I did want her to come over here and kind of check out this little kiosk right here and see if we could possibly buy some university items and also get some university info and possibly get some university apparel so let's go buy some items and see if we can stock up on some things that'll benefit gabby gabby is still really sad about the conversation that she had with marco because deep in her heart like she still like i said had that love for him like she was starting to slowly let go of the idea of them being back together ever again but then um it eventually just you know came back up when she saw him again like she started to get all those emotions and she was happy to see him and when he told her the news it just kind of broke her heart a little bit now Diego has been blowing up her phone he even showed up the other day and then she just didn't answer the door so I think Diego is now starting to feel like hey why why is she avoiding me what's happening like what's going on you were just talking to me we were just having fun and for some reason guys Duchess goes literally everywhere that Gabby goes and <laughs> Poor girl is going to learn real quick that she can't go to school with me. What in the world? That alien scared the crap out of me. <laughs> but yes, as I was saying, so, you know, um, Diego thought that everything was, you know, fine and dandy and thought that him and Gabby were actually going towards a good spot in their relationship and that maybe they were going to start dating. But now, like, she doesn't even want to talk to him right now and it's because all those feelings for Marco came back up and now she's having to deal with that. But she still likes Diego. It's just complicated. So, we should probably get an Art History University course book. Can anyone truly understand art? This is a course book. We'll attempt to teach you the answer. Leveraging skills such as painting, writing, and charisma. Art history students will be able to expand their cultural horizons and also provide fun facts in the art museums forever. So I think I'm going to pick up this book and I was trying to see what else. I feel like her room is pretty much decorated. Like she doesn't really need any of these, but they also have a fine arts university course book. Okay. Studying doesn't need, huh? So hang on a second. All right, so I think that we have everything we need. This total cost for just our books, $1,425. It's a lot of money. So let's go ahead and accept that and take it home with us. Oh, she's so sad. Well, your class is in two hours. And since Gabby is now on the academic, um, what is this called? Oh my gosh, aspiration. We will have to achieve level three research and debate. So we're going to have to go somewhere to kind of debate. I think that they have a place over there in Brightchester, um, but we'll have to check and see because we go to Foxbury. So I don't know if they have like the debate center over here, but I'm going to have to check out these lots too, because we have some school lots that might actually let us go debate. Maybe let's go here. Let's travel here actually because she doesn't want to stay home and I feel like if I, can I not click that? <laughs> Why is our mom calling us so much? During free time, Everly drew and okay that's not my child <laughs> I want to know why my mom called and I think her just ignored the phone call. Dang! I'm just missing all these phone calls. I'm so bad. I want to see if I can travel here for some reason. Okay there we go. Let's go. <laughs> I couldn't click it. All right, so we are here at this little lot for the school. I'm kind of hoping that there's somewhere that we can do our research and debate. If not, I'm just going to throw something down so that way they can practice it. This is such a big space with like literally no furniture. So let's go ahead and throw in the corner like a little research debate area thing. So let's see, research. Will something pop up if I type that? Cool. So we'll put one of these here. That way the kids can use it electronic research okay what's this one the gold one <laughs> i feel like they would have fancy things like that because they are foxberry but now i feel like i can't have these random chairs here so we'll put this up against the wall just to make it look a little nicer just giving you guys like a little build a speed build here um so yeah we'll put that there and then we'll move this one over as well i love this little like 
student relaxing spot over there. Um, let's see, we'll put one there, and then on this side we'll also put some research things here, research computers. And I also needed the debate stand, which I think is here. Is this it? Yes, debater podium. So we'll put this here in this corner. Let's just go ahead and center it out a little bit more. And I think that we should get some benches so that way everybody can kind of sit down and just watch. Is this the only, uh, I guess we could do this option. Put this like right here. And I think that looks good because I feel like there's not going to be many people that come up here and watch people debate because my cousin does that and she did it at her college one year and they sent me I guess the zoom to watch it and I was just not about it <laughs> I was like this is kind of boring but you know um it's just not for me so let's see if we can get a different rug in here there we go that looks so nice like let's just spiff it up a little bit do they have any like foxberry colors no no Foxberry. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just use this plain rug right here. That's kind of boring, isn't it? Well, they have blue all over here, so we'll just use the blue one like they had. And now I have to center out this couch because it's going to bug me. All right, there we go. And we'll change the color of this as well. We'll do the white. And I think that looks pretty good. I'll come through here and renovate this some more. Oh my god, they already had these? my bad <laughs> um but i'll come through and i'll renovate it some more and just dress it up a little bit so this is actually a fun place for them to hang out but um i'm just gonna have gabby come up here and do a little bit of debating she's gonna practice and just try to get her mind off things because right now she's just so upset about this whole marco situation and we do have class in like 50 minutes so it's trying to make the most of this where are you going get to class early <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Diego. So my neighbor just texted me that GeekCon Gaming High Score has been broken. You want to come? Oh, he wants to hang out, but she's just going to blow him off. She's going to not pay attention. And since she wanted to go to class early, I guess we'll just kind of have her hang out around here because that's what she wanted to do. And Duchess, can you, can you go home, please? Like you're really not supposed to be here. How do I send her home? Send home. There we go. She's like, Duchess, go home. You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have her go over here and just wait for her class but guys it's really weird because Nina has been trying so hard to uh get Gabby's attention so she can ask her about you know Diego but she's just been kind of moping around and she hasn't been home a lot so Nina hasn't had the time to ask her about Diego which is kind of you know a good thing because Gabby has got her own problems right now. She could care less about like dating and things like that. But yeah, so I don't think that she's going to get the chance to talk to her about that. I think that she'll be approaching her right towards the end of this episode. So it's going to be kind of sucky, but I'm going to let Gabby do her classes and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Oh my gosh, right in between classes, guys. Diego just messaged her again and he's like, hey, do you want to go out on a date? And he's trying to ask her out to the bar. She's going to say no thanks. Like she's just texting him little short brief answers. And I think that Diego is probably going to end up coming over eventually. He's just going to be like, hey, like what's going on, Gabby? Like, why are you blowing me off? You know, we were just having such a good time. Are you okay? But oh my gosh, this is going to be so crazy. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here because I definitely want to lead into more things in the next episode and not start them here. But I hope that you all enjoyed this part let me know what you guys are thinking about um marco telling gabby all this news like do you kind of like sympathize with him and you understand him or are you just a hundred percent team gabby like he's a bad person i kind of sympathize with him because honestly like he just had no way to contact her but when he came out and he was contacting aldo he very well could have contacted her so i get it you know i get why she's angry but guys i hope that you enjoyed this part i'm sorry if it was too long i actually had so much fun recording and just taking my time and letting you guys like hear the story and everything so i hope you all liked it if you did like like this video comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and i will talk to you all next time bye guys